Welcome to Yelp Guest Manager Basic. In today's training, I will be showing you how to manage your reservations. On the left-hand side, you'll go to the RSV tab. This is where you want to see a full overview of all of your reservations you have for the entire shift. At the top here, this will be the number of reservations you have. This symbol right here is your cover count. It's going to default to the current shift, but if you tap on this icon, you can always jump to a future date. If you want to search for a specific reservation, you can utilize this search bar, type in the name, and your reservation will appear. There are two different ways of entering reservations into Yelp Guest Manager. Let's first take a look at the book view, which is these three vertical lines at the top. You'll then select the party size of the reservation. You will then choose the desired date and time, select it, and you'll enter the party details. You'll put in the party size, which should already be there because you entered it previously, as well as the date and time. You can then put in the name and phone number of the guest. If they are a returning guest, as you type in the name, their information will populate. Make sure you have the correct contact. If they have a seating preference, you can choose from the options below. If they're fine with first available, you can leave as is. If there are any visit notes, such as a special occasion, you can do so by selecting visit notes. After you're done with all of this guest information, you can then hit add in the top right corner. The second way to add a reservation into Guest Manager is to go to this Add Party button at the top. And then, just like we did before, you'll repeat that process, input all the party details, size, date and time, guest name and phone number, seating preference, and visit notes if applicable. These two options are optional. And then you can hit Add in the top right corner. There will be a variety of symbols in the party cell. Right here will be the party size, diner name, the time of the reservation. If they have a seating preference, it'll be spelled out, such as outdoor, indoor, etc. If they have been assigned a table, you'll see the table number right here. This icon means there is guest information, such as guest tags. Our Yelp logo here means it's a online party, so the diner made this reservation online, and then R stands for reservation. If you tap on the party cell, you will also see all of these details as well. Right now, we are still under the RSV tab. Highly recommend going to the waitlist tab, especially if you are managing a waitlist as well. It will show both of your waitlist and reservation parties. You'll notice this blue icon with the check mark, that means that the diner has confirmed through Yelp. If you tap on it, you'll also see that they have confirmed. If they haven't confirmed and you wanna send them another reminder, you'll go to this notify option and you'll see this confirmation reminder. Once the table is ready, you can text them that their table is ready. You can do table almost ready or table ready. There are two options. They'll be associated with the color. Currently, they have been sent the almost ready text. Let's go ahead and send them the table ready text. It will then say ready in green. To seat, you can then tap on the party, go to this table icon. You can input a table name if you want to assign them, or you can just hit seat. When a reservation party has arrived, you can check them in. The host can tap right here, go to this drop down option. You'll see all of these options right here. If they're partially arrived, you can select partially arrived. You'll see this icon. Once the party has fully arrived, you'll go back to this drop icon and select all arrived. There's also a swiping feature. If you go to the party cell and swipe to the left, you can mark them as all arrived. If you hit the notify button, those options will appear. You can remove the party or assign and seat. We have a two-way messaging feature. So if a diner responds to one of the notification texts, 
you'll go in the bottom left corner. Unreads will be at the top. You'll see a timestamp of when that notification text was sent, their response, and then you can text back. If you have a no-show, you can either use that swiping feature and select that remove option, or you can tap on the party, scroll down to this remove option. There are a few options here. Go ahead and choose no-show. If they do come within a few minutes, you can go to this history tab. This symbol means they were removed. You can tap on it and then hit restore party confirm that's what you want to do, and then you'll navigate back to the waitlist tab. Your party will be restored in the original place in line. There is also the overview tab in the top left corner. This will show you how your covers are stacking up throughout the day. You can go to view cover flow and it'll show you the symbols such as R for reservation, or if you go back to view party highlights, this will show you any guest tags or notes. If you need to leave a shift note, you can go to add note, choose the date and shift. It'll have you type in a title and then you can type out whatever needs to be communicated and hit add. You can also leave more than one note. They'll always be under the overview tab or if you go to this symbol, they can also be viewed here. Under the settings wheel on the left hand corner, Above the icon message, if you tap on it, you'll see an option that says Manage Availability. If you tap on it, this gives you the ability to shut off the online waitlist or online reservations. Everything will turn on automatically the next day and diners will still be able to make future reservations, toggle them off, and then be sure to hit Save. Also under the settings wheel, if you scroll down to the Help section, you will see that 877 number. That is a number to our support team. They are available seven days a week. That concludes today's training on Yelp Guest Manager Basic.